What's up guys, welcome back to show, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we're gonna be trying to do some cool stuff here. So, um, I mean, it's kind of cool, kind of boring for some of you guys, but for me, I'm starting my business in 2023. That is the goal, fingers crossed. I mean, I've obviously started a lot of little gigs in my life, but this is like a full-time business, full-time commitment. I'm looking for a shop to actually do a store name, a place, an actual location um, that I will actually meet a lot of you guys. And it's something that actually revolves around what I do on YouTube, which is a very, very, very important to me um, because I wanna continue doing YouTube videos but at the same time have something that will allow me to create better content have like positive income um, something that I can constantly do work in and uh, yeah just any income I get put it back in YouTube and just improve my videos overall so I am heading down right now to actually get some of the paperwork done for this business some exciting stuff here for me again some boring stuff to some of you guys but for those of you guys who are entrepreneurs for those of you guys um, who love BMWs for those of you guys who love cars and want to be a business owner and stuff like that that is the mission for my life that's the mission for my future um, so that is what I'm working on. So for those of you guys who want to see where our business starts from ground zero to hopefully by the end of this year, something that's well established to so make sure to stay tuned because that is the goal for 2023. But at the same time, also do some crazy builds because the E91 M3 um, is one of a bigger project that we're going to be keeping and it's going to be pretty insane. So anyways, we are heading down to the office right now to go get all the business paperwork done for the LLC and the, you know, the business license and all that good stuff. So that's going to cost a lot of money, but you do what you got to do to become legal because it's important in California. You don't want to get screwed over. And on top of that, actually, I'm actually heading down to my boys he actually picked up an audi r8 gen 1 v10 for a crazy good deal and actually i was i was actually bidding on the same exact car but he got it for a little bit more because i dipped out i was a little afraid it was kind of a gamble but he took the gamble and uh, he scored i just witnessed an accident right there uh i did pretty much pause the camera but I just witnessed an accident right there. Oh man, people literally be crashing left and right in this rain, it's crazy. It's not even raining that hard right now. So anyways, anyways, let's head down to the office first and I'll show you guys an Audi R8. All right, guys, just pulled up to the DMV. Wish me luck. I'm about to actually head in there, get the paperwork, and come back to the car. Let you guys know what I can do on the first day of doing the paperwork. I know it takes a process. Again, we're trying to get a business license, but at the same time, we're also trying to get an LLC, like just a corporation going and stuff like that, because eventually, I do want to have employees and stuff like that. I don't want to be just a sole proprietary anymore. Um, this is like a legit thing in my life, and I'm very excited for it, and I do want to get all this stuff sorted, and I could do it on my own at home, but I prefer to go through professional, especially a good friend of mine, um, so we can try to get all the paperwork and everything sorted. If I have any questions, she can help me with it. So uh, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and head into our office and get this stuff sorted. I am very, very excited to take this step in my life. Like, oh my God, more than you guys know. All right, guys, back in the car. It is absolutely pouring right now, but I'm happy to say the name is officially submitted uh, for the business and uh, we're getting it started. I had to pay all the dues up front, but I'm super excited for this because this is real. This is so real. This is everything I've been working towards all these years into this one business and I will not let it fail because it is something that I truly am passionate about and it's gonna contribute to a lot of you guys who watch my videos as well and it's gonna be able to help a lot of you guys that watch my videos as well. So I feel like it's just perfect, it's so perfect and uh, again, I'll give you guys more information on it as the time comes. As for now, I'm heading down to check out the R8. Hopefully it's inside because it is absolutely pouring right now. Um, but yeah, very, very, very happy and uh, God bless, God bless. I'll see you guys hopefully once we get to the R8 location. Guys, it is pouring. I don't even know. Is this really a good day to look at an R8? <laughs> I feel like it's always a good day to look at an R8. I'm super excited. I need to go check this thing out. But uh, yeah, it is. Oh, is that a cop? Oh, hold up. All right, guys. Point out to my boy's shop somewhere over here. I think that's actually his daily. <laughs> so let me see where I need to park. And then uh, we, can, we can check out this bad boy. Life is what you make it. All 
All right, guys, so we just made it here to my boy Victor's shop, bro. What's going on, dude? What's up, Congratulations bro? on Thank your you. first V10. This is your first supercar, right? First one. First car. We, I was telling him the entire year. He's the one that helps you get all my cars. So, again, bro, shout out to you. <laughs> He's the one that helps me get all my cars. And I've been telling him all year I want to get a V10 R8. Either first gen or second gen is perfectly cool with me. But long story short, uh, things went a little sideways for me. I started looking into some other things. And uh, this was actually going to be the R8 that I was going to bid on before, you know, um, I was going to make that decision whether or not I was going to get an R8. But long story short, I was too afraid to bid on this one in particular, just because even you saw the wrap on it. Yeah, it, just it, was, like, it was like pretty bad. The, so you guys are seeing it with the car unwrapped. Like that's the first thing you did, right? Yeah. First thing <laughs> it, was, it was so ugly. Like, it, it, it didn't come off the trailer yet. That's like the first thing I was doing. Was wrapping the wrap on. <laughs> so it had some ugly wrap on it. Um, the car was not a running drive, right? No. And it was from insurance. And I was just kind of like the damage and the damage didn't look too bad. Like you guys can see from the front end. I mean, where's the hood at? You have the original uh, hood. Oh, no, so you guys just can see the hood right over here. Actually, this is the wrap, bro. What is that? <laughs> Crocodile or alligator? I don't know. <laughs> That is crazy, dude. Okay, so that was the yeah, crocodile alligator. Um, this is the hood itself. That's actually how it came. It was like kind of de skin in the first place. It just kind of looked a little wonk for me, especially considering that the latch is right over here. So why would you cut all of that? So for uh, me, they have latches here too. Oh really? Yeah. So and three latches. You see where it was hit right here a little bit. Which, and that was which, the hit. which is pretty savable. You're asking me like that's a savable hood. Oh, before they actually did all the yeah, cutting. Yeah. Yeah. So um, yeah. Anyways, for me, I mean you. You buy a lot more cars than I do. You know, you have more experience in salvage cars as well. <laughs> so uh, he knows a lot more than me, honestly, when it comes to these kind of cars. The fact that I saw it was an insurance car was a non-running drive. I was just kind of like a little bit skeptical. And then uh, the day came and then uh, I was like, I asked him, I was like, are you bidding on this car? He's like, a matter of fact, I am. And I was like, really? <laughs> So uh, I decided I was like, you know, I'm gonna put on a really low bid just because I'm not really too comfortable with it. And then he was he was kind of like he was kind of like borderline because you weren't you didn't know if you were actually gonna get it or not. I wasn't. I was like it was just like a impulsive yeah, thing. If, if I get it, I get it. If, if you get it, you get it. So he put in a reasonably really good bid on it. And uh, out of nowhere, he just I, I saw I saw someone in California won it, and I texted him like, bro, did you just win an R8? And he's like, bro, what did I do? <laughs> so it was super funny. Um, so the R8, yeah, officially got delivered um, last week or about two last, weeks now. Last week. Last week, and uh, yeah, he got it. And I want to show you guys again. This was a non-running drive. I want to show you guys something about this particular. Again, it's a V10, and I want to show you guys something insane. All right, bro, shout out to Big. He's gonna, he's gonna let me start the R8. Oh my lord, he's letting me live my childhood memories. See so you guys, the end of uh, 2022, 2020, yeah, it's 2023 now, right? This, yeah. Yeah, man, I'm, s all right, guys, so <laughs> we are in the car by the end, technically, I mean, 2023, the first couple days, and I am starting an Audi R8, um, bada bing, bada bang. Oh, buddy. All right, guys, moment of truth. I'm gonna shut off real quick just because there's people working behind us. But man, that thing started right on up. Oh yeah, it's like. So what was the issue with it? Uh, dead battery. That's just a dead battery. Just a dead battery. <sighs> but why? Why didn't I bid on it? <laughs> That's insane. I don't want to leave it running too long. We have some people working here, but oh my God, guys, congratulations to Vic. This is insane. I mean, honestly, I've driven in a Gen 2 before. I've always contemplated whether or not I want a Gen 1 or not. And honestly, the size of this car for the money, um, it's just, it's pretty sick. So you guys can see right over here, here's the damage as well. Just like literally something very, this is a replaceable part right over here. It has an X on that. I don't really know if that's even bent. It looks fine to me. Um, this might be savable as well. I don't really see any issues with this, but yeah, there's a lot of little things that need to get replaced. I know this latch you said earlier needed to get replaced. Um, not a big deal, but for the most part, guys, the structural integrity of this front end, again, for the price, bro, this is sick, dude. Yeah, I cannot wait to see you get this a, thing on the road. Nice, it was a nice Christmas present. Definitely, definitely. I know we're, I was stressed for you, bro, so. I was stressed myself, bro. <laughs> it was like the longest week ever because I, I waited a week for it to come in. Yeah, from Florida, yeah, dude, that was, was crazy. Like, dude. And right over here, guys, in this next clip, unfortunately, all the audio pretty much just went right out the chat. <laughs> I don't know what happened to the audio, but long story short, Victor and I were basically talking about if we can get this video to 2,000 likes, he will let me drive this bad boy as soon as he gets it like up and running fully painted all that good stuff so i can actually pretty much relive my childhood dream that would be pretty insane see i would truly appreciate you guys if you can smash that like button all right guys we are in the car right now and uh long story short again shout out to victor that car is amazing for the price he got it for like what a cop that's literally like the last car that went out by the end of this year that i was honestly thinking about getting but i was just like too skeptical on it and he saw it go for a really good deal and he's like you know what i'm gonna have to cop it he was actually looking for a, a gtr or another super 
supercar. Uh, but uh, this one was just too good of a deal. And he's like, I'm just going to risk it. And that's the thing with cars. Like sometimes you risk it and you come out like winning or you risk it and then everything goes sideways. And for me with like the whole business thing in the back of my head, I'm like, if I risk it and I get this thing and it ends up being a blown engine or blow transmission, uh, I'm going to have an, a really bad 2023. I'm going to start off really, really, really rough. So uh, end of the day, I just didn't I bid on it. He won it. I'm super happy for him. I'm going to still see this car. We'll probably see it on the channel. He's going to modify it. He's going to do some cool things to it. Um, so I'll show you guys that as well. And then possibly even buy it off him. Who knows? Who knows? If the business does good in the end of the year, he you know wants to sell it or something like that. We'll see. We'll see as well. But um, yeah, as of right now, I'm just super happy that we got things moving in terms of the business stuff, in terms of paperwork, legality, things like that. Um, finding a shop is probably going to be the most hardest part of uh, you know the hunt uh, just because everyone really wants to shop. But yeah, that's pretty much going to conclude it. Today was more of a vlog. So today was just, I, I really wanted to get that business stuff started. Uh, I really want to check out the R8. There's just two things I really want to uh, see today. It's been raining all this week in California. Actually, we're having floods here in California. And there's actually like a lot of flood damage cars going on in California. So pay attention to Copart. You're about to see some flood damage cars that are probably worth getting because, um, you know, our water is not too shabby. This is a shorter video. It's going to have to conclude the video. I'm going to try to give you guys more updates on the E91 M3. I'm just ordering some parts, waiting for things to come in so we can start installing the new quarter panels, the M3 quarter panels, and putting on the M3 rear bumper conversion. I'm also trying to schedule some time with the body shop to actually get all that stuff done because I want to film it all. Um, so yeah, stuff in the works. Um, a lot of you guys wanted it painted as well. So I need, I do need to contact the, the auto, the paint shop that I'm going to be going to, uh, to see if we can work out some kind of deal for the entire car to get painted. So again, some good stuff coming up soon. Make sure to smash the like button. Please get this video to 2000 likes so I can drive this thing. I'm super excited to drive it because this might actually be the R8 that I buy. Who knows? Who knows? Like if it, if it's beautiful, end of the day, he does a fantastic work with the rebuild, which I'm sure he will. Um, I, it might be one of those cars that I'd be like, once he finishes, I'm like, bro, we might have to make something happen. But without further ado, guys, that is going to have to conclude this video. If you guys want me to keep you guys informed with the journey of pretty much starting my first business, make sure to smash the like button. Let me know down below. And if you guys are excited to see the R8 content, the possibly not, uh, not, not rebuild, but just updates on the R8, make sure to smash the like button. Uh, but without further ado, guys, I love you all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.